Sine, cosine, and tangent are the recorded ratios between sides of right triangles depending on their angles. So what this means is, a long time ago, some smarty pants mathematicians figured out that if I had three different right triangles, but they were similar, that is, they had the same angles, then the ratios between their sides would always be the same, and you could use that to solve problems. So the three most common trigonometric ratios that we deal with are sine, cosine, and tangent, and they're abbreviated sin, cos, and tan. So for sine, we would take an angle, we would divide the length of the opposite side by the length of the hypotenuse, and there will always be a consistent ratio. So no matter what size of the triangle, in this case, here we're looking at this angle that is 65 degrees, if I divide the length of the opposite side, the side it's looking at, like it's sitting across the table, divided by the hypotenuse, that is the longest side, it will always have the same ratio no matter the size of the triangle. Again, the hypotenuse is the longest, it's also the one that's always opposite that right angle. Cosine would be the side adjacent to that angle. So for our 65 here, the adjacent side would be A, the one touching it, the one sitting next to it at the table. Again, dividing by the hypotenuse, the longest side, the length of that side. Tangent is the opposite side. In this case, again, if we're talking about 65, that would be B divided by the adjacent side, A. To solve math problems with these, you use these pre-recorded ratios, which are available in your calculator or in a sine, cosine, tangent ratio table. You get that fact. In this case, I would figure out by looking it up that the sine of 65 is 0. Point approximately 0 0.9063. And I go, okay, the length of my opposite side is 14. My hypotenuse is x, and I know that is equal to, that ratio is always going to be the sine of 65, which is 0 0.9063. So I know 0 0.9063 is equal to opposite 14 divided by hypotenuse x. I can use my algebra skills then to solve for x and figure out the length of that side. Hey guys, if you would like a more in-depth explanation along with some longer examples, please click on the long form video linked in the description below. And if this was helpful or useful in any way, please let YouTube know so I can keep helping others like you. Like, share, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.